एनजीओस पब्लिक गवर्नमेंट सब लोग ने पार्टिसिपेट किया हुआ है इसीलिए हम लोग का 80 परसेंट हम लोग ने प्लास्टिक बैन सक्सेस हुआ है हम लोग का जितना अभी और काम करना है गवर्नमेंट पब्लिक सब मिलके धीरे धीरे करेंगे With the end of Turkic slave Mamluk dynasty and Turku of Khan origin tribe called Khiljis annexed the rule to Delhi Sultanate. Their rule to Delhi Sultanate was aided by cracks and decline in the former empire. However, Jalaluddin Feroz Khilji I of the Khilji empires chose not to rule from Mehroli. Rather, he moved further down to establish a capital in a new city called Kilokri. The city's foundation was laid by Balban's grandson, Kekubad. What would have been his palace in those days, Kilokri or Kiluga, as it was also called, has now transformed into a very busy locality of southeastern Delhi, opposite what was once a broadside course of the river Yamuna. Well, Kilokri was the second uh, city uh, built in the neighborhood of uh, Kutub Delhi in the 13th century by Kekobad, the last of the uh, Turkish uh, sultans, early Turkish sultans. Um, it was built uh, on the bank of the river Yamuna in an area which today extends from Maharani Bagh to Jangpura, roughly. And we know that uh, there was a, there was some kind of a, a military uh, use of the land, military encampment uh, near Kilokri. Kilokri later became a fully fledged city, but in Balban's period there was some kind of, a, uh, or even before, uh, he also built a settlement uh, uh, called Riaspur which is where the modern uh, uh, Nizamuddin's tomb is. Jalaluddin Khilji, when he was first assumed the throne, he was actually crowned at Kilok. And he ruled from there for at least a year before he came back to uh, what was Lal Kot. So nothing much is left of Kilokri. It was actually called Kilugadhi because it was, and it was built by who was the grandson of Balban and his successor. But uh, Kilokri, the only thing that remains now is the name, which is the name of a small village, uh, one of the urban villages of Delhi. While the remnants of Khilji ruled here may be very few and distant, the place was once a home to a rich township and an established market. Traders were brought from the Delhi of 